Hi, scholars, and welcome to Miss Imani B's classroom. I'm Miss Imani, or Miss B, and today we have another episode of Miss B Reads. Today, we are checking out Chapter 2 in the stories Julian tells. If you haven't read Chapter 1 with us, please go back and check out the other videos so you can learn a little more about Julian and the character traits he has, or the character traits we think he has. We're gonna read the next chapter, but we're still doing the same work. We're thinking about a conflict that Julian might have. So remember, a conflict is like a problem. It's the ouch moment in the story. It's when things don't seem to go right. So we're going to find the ouch moment. We're gonna think about that moment in the story. And then we're gonna pay attention to what Julian says, to what Julian does, to what Julian feels, or what he thinks. And those actions are gonna help us figure out what type of character trait does Julian have in this moment. We're gonna be thinking about how is Julian responding to the problem, all right? Are you ready? Chapter two, Catalog Cats. Would you boys like to plant gardens? My father said, yes, we said. Good, said my father. I'll order a catalog. So it was settled. But afterward, Huey said to me, what's a catalog? A catalog, I said, is where cats come from. It's a big book full of pictures of hundreds and hundreds of cats. And when you open it, all the cats jump out and start running around. I don't believe you, Huey said. It's true, I said, but why would dad be sending for that catalog cat book? The cats help with the garden, I said. I don't believe you, Huey said. It's true, I said. You open the catalog and the cats jump out. Then they run outside and work in the garden. White cats dig up the ground with their claws. Black cats brush the ground smooth with their tails. Yellow and brown cats roll on the seeds to push them underground so they can grow. I don't believe you, Huey said. Cats don't act like that. Of course, I said. Ordinary cats don't act like that. That's why you have to get them specially. Catalog cats. Really? Huey said. Really, I said. I'm going to ask Dad about it, Huey said. You ask Dad about everything, I said. Don't you think it's time you learned something on your own for a change? Huey looked hurt. I do learn things by myself, he said. I wonder when the catalog will come. Soon, I said. The next morning, Huey woke me up. I dreamed about the catalog cats, he said. Only in my dream, the yellow and brown ones were washing the windows and painting the house. You don't suppose they could do that, do you? No, they can't do that, Huey, I said. They don't have a way to hold rags and paintbrushes. I suppose not, Huey said. Every day, Huey asked my father if the catalog had come. Not yet, my father kept saying. He was very pleased that Huey was so interested in the garden. Huey dreamed about the catalog cats again. A whole team of them was carrying a giant squash to the house. One had his teeth around the stem. The others were pushing it with their shoulders and their heads. Do you think that's what they really do, Julian? Huey said. Yes, they do that, I said. Two weeks went by. Well, Huey and Julian, my father said, today is the big day. The catalog is here. The catalog is here. The catalog is here. The catalog is here. Huey said. He was dancing and twirling around. I was thinking about going someplace else. What's the matter, Julian? My father said, don't you want to see the catalog? Oh, yes. I want to see it, I said. My father had the catalog under his arm. The three of us sat down on the couch. Open it, Huey said. My father opened the catalog. Inside were bright pictures of flowers and vegetables. The catalog company would send you the seeds and you could grow the flowers and vegetables. Huey started turning the pages faster and faster. Where are the cats? Where are the cats? He kept saying. 
and we'll find out what happens next time. All right, scholars, as you saw, the ouch moment was that Huey was, um, what was he doing? Oh my gosh, Huey was so excited about the catalog. Why was he excited about the catalog? Right, because he thought there was going to be catalog cats that were going to jump out and that we're going to help with the garden. So he's so excited. His father gives him the catalog and he's like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, where are the catalog cats? And we don't know what's going to happen. But think back to what Julian was doing. Was Julian also excited about the catalog cats? No. Remember, Julian was like, oh, I want to run away. So when there was an issue or a problem that Julian may or may not have caused, he wants to run away. He wants to get away. That's one way that he's like responding. So based on that response, what type of character do you think Julian is? Mm -hmm. I wonder if he's going to stay that way or will he change? We're going to find out next time. Bye!